can you see it? My ZBrush? I see it. Okay. So what are we going to do is like uh, creating a, a pore brush in ZBrush. Um, and the first thing I think we, we want to understand about pores is let me find this. It's a, a website that Raf showed me a couple, well, a, a year ago, right? And this guy is awesome. It's uh, Daniel Bouchong. He has uh, amazing pictures. And you can really zoom in in the face. Let me see if this starts to, to understand how a pore behaves on the human face, right? So if you go really close, you can see, let me, let me put this like pores here right here here and what what he does the poor let me find one like this for instance it's like a, a hole and then it goes like arms like this right so this is what are we going to recreate in zebras trying to make just one pore and then add pores in the face uh, and see how it goes Let's see. So let me just click on this. So I have a pour here that I done. We, we, we're going to try to recreate this. Let me see if I can find it. Someone here. A single pour. What is it? Pour. Let's see. So this is the one I, I re okay. First we create a plane, right? And then we kind of subdivide it a couple of times. This is the pore I created. Right? So I'm gonna put this aside. Let's, oh, sorry. And which, uh, which, which type of brush were you using to create that puckering? Yeah, I'm gonna explain. Uh, this is the, the one I already I already did. So we're gonna try to recreate this from the beginning. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So let me put one here. So the first thing I did was um, try to make this um, whole inner hole right using the elastic brush. So B E for the elastic brush and. I used the Alpha 39, I think. And then in the Alpha, I modified a little bit the adjustment to do like a, a really big hole like this. Let's see the strength. Maybe it's too much. Let's try like this. OK. We have to change this for the drag rectangle, right? So first thing is this and check the, if the depth is, is OK. Looks good. Maybe try to soften a little bit. And then the, the, the second thing is try to, to break up these uh, forms, these little arms. And for that, I use the standard brush. And I, I, I normally, when I, when I change settings for the brush, I, I tend to clone the brush. So I have this, the, the initial one with the, the standard settings, right? So I clone this one. And for the alpha, normally I use the 35 or 36. Let's say 35 and in here freehand and then i tweak uh, the alpha as well like this but let me see how it does okay so next i want to change the z the lazy mouse for maybe let's see 0 0.02 